Uncle Charlie, I had a weird dream. And it's getting weirder. Hey, buddy. Why aren't you asleep? I'm hoping I am. The snap, the kick is up, and it is good! It is good! I am. Okay, well, that's the game. Dad, get my allowance. Sure. Here. Thanks. Here. Are you doing business with you? Hey, Dad, check this out. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. You know who told me that? I can guess. Uncle Charlie, and you know why it's funny? Because it's true. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Dad. What? How come only one finger is the bad finger? Uh, I, I don't know, Jake. This one's okay, right? Right. Dad? What? Anything? <laughs> no. I don't get it. Okay, apparently it is on. Oh, this is awesome. I see how careful you have to be. Uh-huh. And how much closer we are to the dumpsters? The wheel slightly to the left and very gently press down on... Do you have any homework this weekend? A little. Why don't you get started on it tonight? But it's only Friday. I know, but if you do it tonight, then you won't have to worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm trying to teach you something here. Hey, I agree to one. Jake, if you're finished with your dinner, why don't you get started on that homework? I'm still hungry. He ate all my fries. You can have some ice cream when you're done with your homework. Isn't that procrastinating? So, dear. What? Do you see anything you like? I don't know. It's venison. Dear. What? Dear. Deer. D-E-E-R. What? W-H-A-T. <laughs> Hang on, Dad. Okay, go ahead. The lesson was... Oh, God, Jake! That's, that's awful! Yeah, I wish I could have saved that one for school. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Dad. Hey, are you gonna kiss me goodbye? Apparently not. <laughs> Dad, are you marmalated? I'm sorry, what? Well, if you marry your cousin, your kids will be stupid, right? Wait till you see Vegas, Jake. There's action everywhere you look. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How does that help me? I can't gamble and I have to be in bed at 9.30. Come on, Jake. It's time to get up for school. I can't go to school. I'm sick. What's wrong? I think I have acid reflux disease. Okay, let's go. You got my lunch? Lunch? You're supposed to make me lunch. Oh, crap. This isn't helping my stress level. I forget. Why are you here in the middle of the week? Because my mom's on vacation. From what? Me. I can't believe you forgot me. I said, I'm sorry. You forgot me. I know, I feel terrible. How many kids you got? <laughs> Get up! <laughs> I forgot to cut my hair. No, 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 no. I'll do it. Saliva is another man's moose. Now shut up. <laughs> Have a good day. Learn something. This isn't my school. What do you mean? I mean, I don't go to school here. Don't forget to clean on the outside. That's all you. <laughs> and 
the floor and the wall. Okay, okay. How the hell did you hit the wall anyway? <laughs> It just gets away from me sometimes. <laughs> so they've got you working in the kitchen? Yeah, we call it the mess. That corn's not gonna cream itself, Harper! Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, gotta go back to work defending our nation against terrorists and whatnot. Missy still sleeping? Nah, she's in the shower. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take her some breakfast. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, we worked up quite the appetite. Right. And when I say worked up an appetite, you understand. I got it, I got it. Let me ask you something, Jake. Knowing what you know now and feeling how you feel now, would you have done anything differently? No. I just would have done it a few more times. How's the army treating you? How'd you know I was in the army? because I've been spying on you guys. What? I'm just kidding. You're wearing a uniform, silly. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Jake, I am so proud of you. Yeah, they gave me my own blowtorch, you know, to caramelize the sugar. Check it out. <laughs> Not again. Gotta go, Dad. So, uh, Jake, you want to go to your bedroom and unpack? Uh, that's OK. I don't really have much. <laughs> Well, then, maybe you could help me unpack. What? Dude, she's not really talking about unpacking. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. I could definitely go for a good unpacking. Well, then, come on. Jake? Not now, Dad. The military police were at the door looking for you. What'd you tell them? I told them you weren't here. Oh, thanks. See you at dinner. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Jake? AWOL? Come on, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> you could go to jail! Really? That seems a little extreme. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Dev. Uh, well, this is a nice surprise. W what's going on? Um, I heard from Eldridge that you and his mom broke up, so I'm just checking in, see how you're doing. That is really sweet of you, Jake, to be concerned about your old man. I love you, Dad. I want you to be happy. Thank you. And, you know, you've always been there for me. Now I get to be here for you. That's true. <laughs> Speaking of which... How much? I'm not going to be able to make it home this year. What? Why? My girlfriend, Tammy Sue, asked me to spend Christmas with her and her three kids. I'm pretending to be Santa. And also their various fathers. <laughs> How did you meet this woman? I play softball with her parole officer. Please tell me it's not the 35-year-old single mother with the two kids. No, Tammy's 36 and she has three kids. Jake, she's almost twice your age. No, she's not. I'm 19. Jeez, do the math. You don't even know her. Let me ask you this question. If you've never tasted a strawberry ice cream cone in your life, how do you know what it tastes like? What? My point is you've never licked Tammy. Yep, but it's in the third fastest runner in my class. Cool. Spring break's over. Back to work. Later, Stud. Boy, she smells good. And why was Uncle Charlie kissing Rose? Well, that, that was the... And what are pheromones? Oh, that one I know, and, and it's pronounced Whoa. pheromones. It... <laughs> Never mind. You want another goofy juice? Aren't you the sweetest? This is Freddie, my fiance. You're marrying him? <laughs> uh huh. Freddie, this is Jake. So. Oh, well, before I forget, you got plans for tomorrow night? No. Make some. I'm gonna need the house to myself. Fine. Don't you want to know why? Uh, Jake, if you're done, you can go to your room and start your homework. Oh, this is about sex, right? <laughs> Jake! Jake, go to your room. If you want to talk about sex, why don't you go to your room? <laughs> so you didn't bring me anything? Oh, is that all Grandmommy is good for? To bring you gifts? Of course I brought you something. There. Crayons? I'm ten. Well, it's not just crayons, sweetheart. It's also a dinosaur coloring book. But I'm ten. <laughs> 
You want to trade? No, I'm good. Okay, you're going to feel a little sting. Nobody said I had to get a shot. It's just to numb your skin so you won't feel the stitches. What are you going to give me not feel a shot? It's all right, pal. I'm right here with you. Big deal. I'm still going to get a shot in my head. Come on. Just hold my hand. Look me in the eyes. Go ahead, Doc. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, hey, go easy on the kid. No, you're squishing my hand. Now, open grandmummy's present. Clothes? Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, but clothes? Not clothes, darling. It's Calvin Klein. No, it's clothes. The parental code that unlocks the pay channels is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Should have known. Believe me, sweetheart, the girls are gonna love you in this. What girls? All right, the other boys will be envious. The other boys will beat me up. You have a girlfriend yet? No, I'm a bachelor like my Uncle Charlie. So you're never gonna get married? No, as long as I got... So I'm gonna clean my house and some action on a regular basis. I don't need a wife. I heard Mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets into so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> it's not that little. What do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Beards. Well, Jay. Your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. Oh. What's wrong with the car you have now? Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, Jake, it's not exactly the same with people as with dogs. I know. Why don't you just use a condom? I just want you all to know that Charlie didn't suffer. His body just exploded like a balloon full of meat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm hungry. Anyone else hungry? <sighs> okay, Walden Schmidt. It is time to start your new life as a single man in Mel. no way he could sleep over. Why not? You wouldn't mind? Why would I mind? Hey. No reason. He's a great kid. Ow! I'm sorry. I just think we need to establish some boundaries. Hey, don't make hitting your deal. <laughs> that, that was the air mattress. Okay. That was me. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Courtney. Jake! Oh, it's so good to see you. Me too. Oh, you've grown. No, it's just my cell phone. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing here? I just, uh... <gasps> came by to... What? What? I took a huge dump. That was that was great. Just just great. Thank you so much. Dad? Right here. Go ahead. Something's different. <laughs> cool. So remember Megan? Oh yeah, it was uh, your little girlfriend. Uh, she seems like a great gal. Well, I'm glad you like her, because she's kind of pregnant. Kinda? She's not showing yet. She's still in her first semester. Oh, my God. How, how did this happen? I mean, what about our talks about uh, sexual responsibility and, and, and using protection? I could explain that. Go ahead. I was drunk. 
The reason I called a family meeting is because uh, Jake and Megan have some news. Oh my God, she's pregnant. Well, that was easy. Who wants cake? <laughs> Man, I've seen so much crazy stuff in this house. I could write a book. That's a good idea. Got a title? Hmm. Maybe I can't write a book. <laughs> Me and Elders were thinking it would be cool if we were brothers so that we could switch places to fool people. That only works if you're twins, Jake. How do you know for sure I'm Jake? <laughs> My name's Jake. Hi, Jake. My friends call me... Jake. <laughs> so, Jennifer, how old are you? 24. How old are you? I'm 24 and a half. <laughs> Oh, seriously, dude, no lie. All right, fine. You don't believe me? Here. <laughs> yep, five times. Best half hour of my life. <laughs> Guess what? While you're in the hospital, I aced all my final exams. Really? I don't believe it. I told you he wouldn't buy it. Come on, you lazy puke. Move it, move it, move it. When do we start flying the robot planes? <laughs> Maybe after lunch. No, we're going on a five mile run after lunch. Oh, I'm gonna skip that. I wanna take a nap. I waited. I'll make it up to you. When? Later. 50 bucks and it goes away. 10. Done. Love you, Uncle Charlie. Back at you. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Even though Mom stopped loving you and Candy stopped loving you, you don't have to worry about me. Thanks, pal. You're my dad. I pretty much gotta love you. <laughs> hey, Uncle Charlie, guess where I'm finally growing hair? <laughs> Come on, man, I'm eating. Right here. I'm growing a stash. Oh, yeah. Hey, cool hat. Whose is it? Yours. <laughs> really? Yeah. It looks great with the stash. You didn't call her. Yeah, so? So, you know why I think you didn't call her? You didn't call her because the whole, I don't want to throw my brother out on the street business is that's what I think. That's what you think. You heard me, that's what I think. Yeah, well, think again. For nothing. There's pie. Who is this vodka knockers that you speak of? Eat your dinner. The name's Knockers. Vaughn Knockers. Dad says you got your butt in your whips. Just eat your dinner. Hang on. So if you burp now, it'd really be a fart, right? Hey, Dad, how come you don't give me an allowance? Because your mother gives you an allowance. Look, I am just trying to be fair here. Speaking of fair, it doesn't seem fair that Mom has to pay me and you don't. Hang on, Candy. Let me explain something to you. Every cent your mother has comes from me. So when she gives you allowance, it's really me giving you allowance. I don't need to know how it works. I just need more money. <laughs> Hi there. I like you very much. Please don't do that. Do what? I'm just being nice. Oh, big boy. I'll need a sports bra. Uncle Charlie and I both had dreams about eating. Mine was with donuts, his was something dirty. Come on, please. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, no, not that way. Slow down. I'm still awake. Okay, I gotta go if I'm gonna catch my bus. Good night, Berto. Hey, Dad, guess what I found in Mom's bedroom? An empty can of whipped cream. Whipped cream? No kidding. Yep, and you know what I'm thinking? What? Either whipped cream has something to do with sex, or Mom hides pie in her nightstand, too. What's going on? Rose is moving to London. She is? Why? Because Uncle Charlie's a pud. So do you have a PlayStation or an Xbox? I have a cello. <laughs> what do you play on that? 
Beethoven, Brahms, Bach, Shostakovich. So, no Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> what, uh, what prompted you to redecorate like this? I don't know, I like cars and wrestling. And wet t-shirts, apparently. Oh, <laughs> well, there is a wet t-shirt in that. I hadn't noticed. Oh, come on. We had an adventure. <laughs> Dad? Yeah, buddy? Fight me. I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> they like each other. I'm well, sure they like each other. No, I mean they like like each other. <laughs> oh, no, Jake. Uh, your Uncle Charlie only like likes a, a certain type of woman. Mom calls them tramps. <laughs> it just sucks. It's just for a couple of days till the wedding. Yeah, but why does she have to stay in my room? Because, I don't know, you're the kid. Yeah, well, it's not fair. And yeah, we'll get over it. Oh, my God. Jake, it's disgusting. Yeah, we'll get over it. Why can't I sleep in my bed? Aunt Myra's not there. I'm sure she will be. She's probably just getting something in the kitchen. That's not the kitchen. Hey, Jake. Hey, gotta hit the crapper. I want to ask you a question. Crumb cake, a frappuccino, and a burrito supreme. That's not the question. Oh, yeah, and a tangerine. That's what killed me. Are you done? I hope so, because the toilet won't flush anymore. Jake, how do you like high school? I'm in eighth grade. I see. When do you start high school? Hard to say. Eighth grade is really kicking my ass. Jake, language? Yeah, language, math. I begged you for years to let me turn that into a game room. Bumper pool, ping pong, something. Well, this is different. How? Herb can play with his trains alone. <laughs> I'm sure he does plenty of stuff in there alone. Excuse me? Nothing. I got it. So where's your friend? Gabe, he ditched me when I started throwing up, the bat rastard. You know, your body is sending you a message. Yeah, it's saying I should really chew my food more. Okay, well, thanks for the update. Nice seeing you. Boop, boop, boop. You ruined my life, Charlie Harper. Righto, bye. And we didn't put it for the job shirt. Just keep walking. How can you live with yourself, you horrible, evil man? He drinks. Good for you. That's a good start. Yeah, it was. You make learning fun. <laughs> Where are you going? Take a shower. <laughs> Jake, I have wonderful news. From now on, as part of each lesson, we're going to spend time casting demons out of you. It's the devil that's making him stupid. <laughs> Told you it wasn't my fault. <laughs> hey, Dan. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, all finished in the bathroom? <laughs> For now. You should have seen the last one. It looked like a question mark. Let's talk about this later. Oh, please. Chowderhead can't hear us. Right, Chowderhead? <laughs> See? Look, uh, tell you what. Why don't I take you and Jake out to dinner tonight? Can we get chili burgers? <laughs> Mom grounded me for two weeks. Why didn't your mother tell me about this? I promised I'd tell you. What can I say? She believed me. No movies. Skating? No skating. Fine. Also, uh, no TV, no video games, no cell phones, and no iPods. Nothing that gives you any amusement or enjoyment. Couldn't you just smack me with a belt and get it over with? Get out of here. I'm bored. Hello. Hi. I'm Charlie Harper, and this is Jake. We live next door, right, Jake? I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Celeste. I'm Jake. Honey, is that the cable guy? No, Dad, it's our neighbors. Jerome Burnett. Hi, Charlie Harper. This is my nephew, Jake. We just came by to welcome you to the neighborhood. Well, that was very nice of you. Yeah, welcome to the neighborhood. Bye. <laughs>
Did you hear? Grandma's sending you to college. <laughs> now I haven't finished my soup. Jake, do you understand what your grandma is providing here? Yeah, more school, big whoop. <laughs> well, Jake, your praxis will help enthuse you. If you buckle down and your grades improve, when the time comes for you to go to college, Grandmommy is going to buy you a new car. I love you, Grandmommy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jake, I get out of here in 10 minutes. Why don't you get your uncle to bring you over to my place and I'll cook you a nice, healthy dinner. Thanks, but I'm already healthy. I'll have a hamburger. <laughs> What is wrong with you, turning that down? Excuse me, but we have no idea what kind of cook she is. <laughs> this is like the best dinner ever. I'm glad you liked it, Jake. You are a great cook. And you are a cutie pie. Oh, I could just eat you up. Listen, buddy, you're gonna have to make yourself scarce. Maybe take a cab home. You take a cab home, I'm doing great. <laughs> that woman's gotta be 10 years older than you. So, you're like 15 years older than her? <laughs> Go wait in the car. You go wait in the car. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go see the baby's room. She never wants to see my room. That's because your room is a pigsty. <laughs> I didn't ask for a reason. <laughs> oh, horned one. Wrap your dark wings around this young soul and grant him all the rewards he desires. <laughs> okay, um... Hi, Mr. Horned One. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'll trade you my soul for... What do I get, like three wishes? He's the lord of the underworld, not a genie. Oh, okay. Can I talk to a genie? <laughs> Weekend. Why? It's not due till next Wednesday. I have plenty of time. That's what you said last time. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I think you're getting senile. <laughs> watch your mouth, young man. I can't watch it. It's under my nose. <laughs> hey, can we go out to dinner tonight? Do I look like I'm in any kind of shape to go to dinner? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Betsy. Charlie. Jake. Nobody asked you. <laughs> So, uh, Betsy, maybe we can get the boys together for a little play date sometime. I don't want a play date with some stupid kid just so you can have sex with her. <laughs> hey, I got some new video games. You want to play with me? Sure. Did you forget you're being punished? No. Why does Uncle Charlie have to suffer? So, you like making fun of girls with big boobs. <laughs> Jake, get that spoon off your nose. You don't know where it's been. It's been on my nose. Hello? Hi, Dad. What are you doing up so late? Charlie, what is he doing up? Shh, he's asleep. Let's go home, Alan. Hey, we're not married anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Hey, Mom, does this look infected? Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see anything. <laughs> okay, by all means. Take my room, I'll bunk with Jake. Thanks. What do you mean you'll bunk with Jake? Is that a problem? Yes, I need my privacy. For what? You know. His, uh, his little girlfriend dumped him. Really? She said she needed her space. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Want some advice? Yeah. What do I do, Uncle Charlie? I meant from me. Oh. No, thank you. I've got a surprise for you. It's not my food, is it? Because I'm starting to feel a little dizzy. No, you're going to get to do something that I'll bet no other boy in your class has ever done. If it's sex, Mitchell Feynman already saw his cousin naked. No, this is better than sex. What? How would he know? <laughs> You're gonna learn to dance ballet. Wanna bet? <laughs> I'd like you to meet our new student, Jake. Hi, Hi Jake. Jake. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's start in first position. Jake, do you know first position? Is that like missionary position? <laughs> okay, very nice, class.
Yeah, good hustle, everybody. <laughs> Much better, Jake. That's because I have a good teacher. Thank you. All right, that's it for this week. And remember, life is a dance. Live it gracefully. That's my motto. <laughs> hey, Uncle Charlie, what's green has four legs and would kill you if it fell out of a tree and landed on you. What? A pool table. <laughs> it's funny, because you wouldn't expect it to be in a tree. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, I got another joke for you. Okay. There's two muffins sitting side by side in a muffin tin in the oven. One muffin says to the other, boy, it's hot in here. And the other one says, holy crap, a talking muffin. <laughs> you told Mia you weren't going to smoke or drink anymore. Mia's going to be really pissed at you. Only if she finds out. She doesn't have to find out. Well, like I said, it depends. <laughs> what, are you blackmailing me? No, I'm just saying, if you don't give me 20 bucks, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> That's blackmail. Well, then, yeah. Why aren't you at your mother's? I got off the bus at school and got on another bus and came here. So, you've never been to school today? Of course not. I don't want to be stuffed in a locker, tied to a flagpole, or dunked in a toilet. Not dunked, dipped. <laughs> I mean, look, getting hit in the face hurts, but you know what hurts more? A kick in the crotch? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. I took a soccer ball to the Nads once, so my eyes were gonna pop out. Hey, Jake, how about you and me going out? Okay, now I have a question for you. If I needed a lung and your dad needed a lung, who would you give your lung to? <laughs> well, now, see, I wouldn't have to think about it. Jake, I'm talking to you. Don't give me the hand. Oh, hey, you're up early. No way. Uh, I, I am not just getting home. I, I couldn't sleep, so I, I went for a walk. Dad, a little privacy, please. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. When you die, do I get Dad's family jewels? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Just go inside. Okay, well, thanks for dropping him off. Jake, do you want Grandmommy to teach her how to use chopsticks? Don't confuse him. He just learned how to use a fork. <laughs> Real funny, Alan. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. It's late. What do you want? Charlie and I had a fight. Jake and I need a place to sleep. Only because he's too cheap to get home. We need a place to sleep. I'm not embarrassed. I'm angry. She didn't even tell me why. She just sent me an email saying she doesn't want to go out with me anymore. Maybe she found somebody better. What do you mean better? Who's better than Jake? Why, no one, Alan. He's the pinnacle of male evolution. Okay, listen to me. Boxing is a science. Boxers don't just wail on each other, they strategize, feel each other out, wait for an opening. Gay. This movie's stupid. This movie is a classic. It's been 40 minutes and we haven't even seen the shark yet. That's because they're building suspense, letting you use your imagination. You know what I'm imagining? A better movie. <laughs> this is my daughter, Millie. Hi, Millie. Oh, hello, Millie. Hi, this is some killer crumb cake. Hello. Hi. Ah, uh, Millie, this is my son, Jake. Jake, this is Millie. Want some cake? I don't eat sugar. Oh, yeah, me neither. Unless it's in, like, pies and cookies and stuff. Alan, I need to talk to you. Okay. Alone. Gotta be about sex. What are you doing? Nothing. You don't eat from the cake until we cut the cake. But I'm so hungry. Have some cheese. Have we cut the cheese? We can't go back to the mall. Why not? My shoes are missing. Huh, another mystery solved. Wrong foot, buddy. Oh, oh yeah.
Yeah, thanks. Okay, um, x is minus 4. Great! <laughs> you're right! See, see? You can do this! Now, now, on the test, you're going to have to show your work, so let's see your work. There's no work. <laughs> how are we supposed to split this? I don't know, dude. No matter how I figure it, there's going to be one left over. <laughs> You're a great cook, Mrs. McElroy. Oh, Jake, I told you. Call me Lindsay. Yes, ma'am. You are such a sweetie. You could learn something from him. Suck up. Suck up with a drumstick. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. That is uh, so... Tss, tss, tss. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> hey, Uncle Charlie? Yeah. You miss me? <laughs> he missed me. Here we go, $38.41 for school pictures. Thanks. Forgot to sign it. No, did I? Oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> um, Alan Jerome Harper, D.C. District of Columbia? <laughs> Doctor of chiropractic. So, I'm confused. Is Edward the gay vampire or the gay werewolf? The vampire. And he's not gay, he's... Androgynous. So he can write with both hands, big deal. <laughs> Just so you know, I like this even less than you do. It's hard to believe. So, uh, do you like your present? It's stationary with a big E on it. It stands for Evelyn. Very good, darling. Uncle Charlie said the E was for evil. What's all this stuff? Okay, here's the red one. What do you guys think? Uh. The yellow one's better, right? I'm not sure. What do you think, Eldridge? I think we need to see the yellow one again. I had no interest in college until a few days ago. What changed? I saw this video called Topless Coeds of the Big Ten, and I decided I need to go to college. <laughs> Baby. Hey, how was shopping? Oh, we had a great time. Yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> Look, I got the same watch Johnny Depp has. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. You, you, you bought him all this? Oh, he was so helpful. Here you go, handsome. You feel anything yet? Oh, yeah, it's working. If it starts coming out the back door, pull your pants down and roll over. Good thinking. Hey, what's going on? I had a good time, Dad. What are you doing on the floor? Let's do this thing. All right. Remember, if for some reason you don't reach the ocean, just tuck and roll. Okay, just hurry up. All right. Let her rip. I almost forgot. I need a hundred bucks. What for? SAT prep class. Oh, oh, sure. Glad to see you're taking the test seriously. Hey, if I don't do well on the test, then I can't get into a good college. And if I can't get into a good college, then I'll never get into grad school. If I never get into grad school, what kind of future can I look forward to? What do you want? I need to borrow 50 bucks. Oh, oh, sure. The reason I needed it is me and Eldridge went to visit this friend of ours who's in the hospital, but he forgot his book on the bus, so I lent him mine, but once you know it, he lost that one too. So now I have to buy two math books because he's broke, and there's this big math test coming up, and we were going to study together for it. So how do you like having a new baby sister? Well, she eats, she sleeps, she poops. So far, I'm not impressed. <laughs> That's a pretty mouth, but it ain't made for singing. What's it made for? Eating. <laughs> I thought maybe she meant oral sex. Dad, I got my learner's permit, but Mom won't let me drive her car. Just because they give 15-year-olds learner's permits doesn't mean they're ready to drive. Oh, please, I've been driving for years. Grand Theft Auto 1, Grand Theft Auto 2. <laughs> And I never ran over anybody but pimps and crack whores. Jake? Sorry, crack prostitutes. Uncle Charlie? What? You hungry? Because <laughs> if you are, we could go get something to eat. And I'll even drive. Oh, crap. Now I'm awake. Great. You hungry? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm 
making sure I get to drive your car whenever I want to. What? Give me that. Too late. I already emailed it to myself. You're bluffing. Perhaps. But can you really afford to take that chance? They're friends of mine. So they're old. No, not all of them. I have a niece who's about your age. Is she pretty? I think she's cute. Okay, I know what that means. Mmm, pork chops. <laughs> what are you wearing? Grandma bought it for me. Pretty cool, huh? You made him dress up as a chauffeur? He loves it. I don't get grease on that jacket, dear. Yes, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> She's not a brainiac, is she? What does that mean? Well, I don't like him stupid, but I don't like him talking down to me either. You know, I've got a nephew about your age. You should meet him. He plays guitar, too. Maybe you guys could jam sometime. Oh, boobies. You should try that stuff. What for? I'm not depressed. Really? Why not? What have I got to be depressed about? Well, you've been divorced twice. You're living on your brother's couch, and your only child is flunking 10th grade. What you looking at? No, nothing. Really? So the beautiful girls playing volleyball completely escaped your eye? I see him, you perv. <laughs> Little hottie in the tank top is checking you out. I know. Now please go away. <laughs> really? Yeah, so stop wasting time. What are you even doing in here? I had to fart and I didn't want to do it in front of her. Oh, come on, pal. At your age, relationships aren't serious. They're just, you know, puppy love. No, no, this wasn't puppy love. This was... Dog love. What? I said no disrespect. You know, you make it really difficult to love you sometimes. Yeah, that's what my mom says. <laughs> Told you I'm not an idiot. Relax. There's no mountain lions here. And lastly, this is Jake. Oh, are you my son? I'll be whatever you want me to be. One, Betsy be joining us, or is she taking a hot, soapy shower? What? Come on, give. There's nothing to give. She came by, said she misses me, spent the night. Yay! So, is she moving back in? Is the wedding back on? Or was it just making the beast with two backs? Can we talk? Sure. Oh, that's never good. How do you know? That's what mom said to you. <laughs> you know, I really am sorry about you and Chelsea. Thanks, buddy. Her boobs are real, right? <laughs> yep. Outstanding. That you've made so much money with such stupid jokes. 